If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already, and with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 158 of the Career Mode Road to Glory here on FIFA 15. There's a pretty large amount of transfer action in today's episode. I'll uh, try and... well, I probably won't end up commenting uh, on highlight by highlight, so you will have to keep an eye on what's going on in the background at the same time, because there is a lot of different deals uh, being tried to push through in uh, this particular episode but we're trying to get rid of uh, Carlos Grezo and uh, hopefully he will go to Crystal Palace also looking at moving out Anton Briggs he hasn't grown as we predicted he might do and uh, we actually have a couple of other players that are right sided on the mi midfield side of things that are uh, younger and growing faster and already higher rated so he's gone Carlos Grezo is gone and Nicholas Spaller has forced his way out of the club. I had no input in this deal. The board did it for me. I actually, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll have seen me raging about this a couple of days ago. I Obviously, this is on the 7th of July, so it's only seven days after I, uh, you know, after we started this season. And they kept... I had him on the transfer list and they kept selling him for eight or nine million pounds. Every time I reloaded the save seven or eight different times, advanced five days, they sold him for eight or nine million pounds. Raged about it for about 15, 20 minutes on Twitter, trying time and time again to get a decent offer. And MGH said uh, to me on Twitter, try and do a short term loan. Uh, I think the initial, uh, you know, kind of idea was to try and get him to go out on short term loan and then bring him back. But I put him on short term loan. And again, the board just sold him for me, but they sold him for a large fee rather than the normal small fee that they had been when he was actually transfer listed. So I put him up for a short term loan. He was sold to Manchester City for £30 million, which is probably about what we could have gotten for him if we were doing the deal ourselves. So thank you to MTH for being the saviour when it came to actually getting enough money for Spoiler to actually warrant being able to push forward with this transfer window in a positive light. We have enough money now to really improve the squad as best we can. We said we wanted to bring in uh, Daniel Stroman or Stromgren. Oh, I can never pronounce names properly, but uh, he's valued quite highly and obviously being 78 rated at 18 years of age and already having fantastic physical stats and a good finish on him is uh, going to be, take a large fee to separate him from VRL. Also looking at Yusuf Ivas. This deal actually looks like it could be quite simple to put together. Uh, we're offering £3 million plus uh, Stefano Gabbiadini to try and bring him in. He's the guy that had fantastic physical attributes on the uh, on the squad report, the Turkish lad from Real Madrid, you might remember from the uh, not the squad report in the uh, transfer targets video. So uh, he's on my shortlist, and we're trying to bring him in. They uh, rejected my three hundred thousand pound counter offer for uh, Anton Bridge, and uh, we'll try. I'll just accept that one. But uh, also in talks with Milan right now is the centre back from Schalke that we uh, put in an offer from a moment ago. We offered seven million plus Viola, so I didn't change the uh, the offer. I just let it stand because it. it Value it equaled out around about eight million, and uh, they've offered eight and a half AC Milan. So we're still trying to work out a deal for Yusuf Ivaz as well, and still trying to work out a deal for Daniel Strongren as well. They weren't interested in Tikalo Ranti, so I had to just try and offer someone else. We'll try Quezzi this time around, offer a little bit extra money, I think, because obviously Quezzi's valued a little bit lower than Tikalo Ranti by about two million pounds. So eight million plus Quezzi Appia, we'll see what they say. Then we got an offering for Jenkins Chicoino. I am wanting to sell Jenkins but not for 4.2 million. We have had previous offers in for him around about the 11 or 12 million pound mark. And that was when he was 77 or 78 rated. He's now 79 rated and we'll try and move him out for 15 million to Arsenal. Unfortunately though, uh, a little bit of a spoiler, they're not going to follow up on that deal. So uh, sadly Jenkins Chicoino won't be leaving to Arsenal and we still have him in the squad for now at least. We do get a big offer for Stryl Georgiev though. 21 years of age, 77 rated, valued at 4.3. Bayern offer me 16 and a half but obviously I'm going to turn that down. Stryl Georgiev has been fantastic for us and I do not want to let him go. Real Madrid weren't interested in Toko either. Yusuf Ivaz is proving quite difficult to work a deal for but in the end I decided to just go with cash instead. We'll try a £6 million bid and see if they'll accept that. Try and sending out some more youngsters. Again like I say Anton Bridge was 62 rated at 19. James Gillett is 71 rated at 17. That's why we let Anton Bridge go and we're sending uh, Gillett out on loan. They they did accept the £6 million bid though for Yusuf Ivas, so hopefully he will come into the club offering him £60,000 a week and uh, improving his squad role from the one he currently has 
at, uh, at Real Madrid. They rejected the offer previously, or all of my previous offers for Daniel Stromgren. We'll try Jenkins Chikowi as part of a move for uh, for uh, the Swede. Obviously, Chikowi is valued about four to five million, or five and a half million, and uh, his wage is 140k because we used his wage, or we used him to put all of the money from the previous budget into his wages so that we could get it back this year when we sold him on. Uh, but unfortunately that didn't work. There has been an offer put in by someone else for Yusuf Paulson. I think it was Hull City. Now I do I want either Paulson or Stromgren. Stromgren is my preferred guy, but considering we weren't able to use Tekelo Ranti as make weight for that Stromgren deal, uh, we would end up with too many strikers. So we'll try... Uh, Ranty plus three million pounds for Yusuf Paulson. We'll see what they say. Continuing to reject all of my bids for Daniel Stromgren, our VRL. Understandable, to be completely honest, considering the quality of the player. But if I can work a deal for him, I definitely want to do it. I think I'm going to offer 10 or 11 here plus Gabby Adini. It is 10 in the end that we go for, and we'll see if they'll accept that one. Yusuf Ivaz rejected my contract offer. He said he was quite happy where he was, felt settled, but would be open to renegotiation, which, you know what that means. Give me more money, please. So we offered him 75 grand a week rather than 60. We'll see what he says to that. They actually accepted the Yusuf Paulson bid of £3 million plus to Kalo Ranti. Delighted with that. We'll see if we can work a deal to bring him to the club. He would be our highest rated striker if he came in. Georgiev is 77, Ranti is 76, Cannon Wilson is 75, and Kwesi is 72. So he would be by far our strongest and best striker still trying to work a deal for Stronggren. Also looking now for a spoiler replacement on the left-hand side. Timo Werner looks like a very intriguing player. Pretty similar in stats to um, Nicholas Spoiler, and obviously uh, a name that you guys will recognise, Timo Werner, as well. So we'll offer Jenkins Tikawi plus six million, and we'll see what they say. Also looking to perhaps bring in Thomas Callas as well. We're looking to move on Fiola, obviously. That would leave us with Downing, uh, our new signing, Matteo Masaccio and John Stones as our three centre-backs. And I would like four if possible. So Thomas Callas is a target. Obviously, we looked at the guy from Salka earlier, but he ended up going to someone else. Ivaz turned down £75,000 a week as well. So uh, he's clearly being even more greedy. So I'll offer him eighty grand a week on a four-year contract with 10% bonus per goal and crucial first-team player. We'll see what happens with that deal. Yusuf Paulson, though, has accepted the contract offer. £3 million plus plus to Kalo Ranti, Yusuf Paulson is our first new signing this season. Delighted to bring him in. He looks like he's going to be absolutely incredible. Obviously, in tomorrow's episode, we'll have a squad report so you can see what his stats are exactly like, because tomorrow, obviously, is Monday. Uh, we're we'll putting in a bid for Sadio Mane as well. I'm off keeping all of my options open for a variety of different positions here, and we'll just try and make sure that we get at least one player in all of those positions. But tomorrow, we'll have uh, two friendlies against Leverkusen and FC Cologne, and uh, we'll try and get some more transfer stuff done between now and then and we'll head up towards the third friendly and then in tomorrow's episode obviously we'll have the those two friendlies and a squad report and then on Wednesday we'll uh, finish out the pre-season friendlies and hopefully get some more deals in as well we've still got plenty of money to spend thanks to that Nicholas Spaller deal still got Jenkins Tikawi to move on as well and uh, plenty of money and plenty of options for players to bring in so that's going to bring today's video to a close guys thank you very much for watching drop the video a like if you enjoyed that'd be absolutely superb and of course subscribe if you haven't already we are continuing to get closer to 70,000 subs and it'd be great if we could hit that sooner rather than later because I'm so desperate to do my 70k uh, video and and uh, give you guys something to really get excited about. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed. And I'll see you next time.